I first have to know just how are you doing? I mean, watching all the episodes back, I know it's been about a year and a half since everything happened. How are you? Yeah, honestly, the impact, the empowerment, the positivity that I've received from all over the world, I would have never imagined that it was gonna be this amazing. Let's go to the wedding. You were so shocked at the altar when Barty said no. Why were you so surprised? And why did you want to say yes? I don't know if you've seen the, the fan outpouring of like, you deserved better. <laughs> um, so there was a living room conversation that we had where I told them, you are not the man that I envisioned. You are not the person that you were in the pods. I was ready to give up. And I think for me, that was my moment of like, enough is enough. And so, Bartiz didn't want to give up and he asked me to give him another chance. He said, let me put my actions into words. If I love you, you know, for the emotional connection, let me at least try. And so honestly, it was, it was that alone. And so I really just kind of sat back. Right. And I'm like, okay, sure. I'm giving you another chance. Show me what you got. Right. Cause at that point I was checked out. Um, Bartiz completely turned things around for us. Our conversations coming from his mouth were the we, the us, the our future, at our reception, I wanna dance, you know, our future kids. Like everything was future conversations of, yeah. I can see you being the person that I'm gonna marry. He made me believe um, up until the day of our wedding that he was going to say yes. Any of the doubts that he had, he clarified on one of our last dinners that he was gonna set that aside because he was able to see the future with me. Mm -hmm. And so um, literally minutes before the altar was when he sent me the shot and on the note, it said, let's do the damn thing. So for me, I was like, yes. what does that the damn thing mean, senor? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. so if any doubt that he was gonna say no, to me, that was my validation that this man, everything that he had been doing and saying since halfway through our relationship, you know, in Dallas, I believed that it was real. Um, and but so for that you, why did you want to say yes? Like, why was it all on him to like, why were you so excited that he was going to say yes? Did you have any reservations? Like maybe this guy has made some pretty disrespectful comments to me. Maybe he's not the guy for me. I will never be your type. Looks matter. I think for me coming into this whole experience um, with an open heart and open mind, judgment free, I needed to let Bartiz be who he was. And honestly, was it disrespectful? Absolutely. Could he have said it in a different way? Yes, he could have, but we're all human. Do you regret not standing up for yourself more when he was making comments? I know about not being like physically attracted, but being emotionally attracted and then making comments about how attracted he was to Raven. Yeah, no, that's a great question. I definitely um, don't regret anything that I did. So I didn't need him to validate me or validate my looks. Um, again, was it disrespectful? Yes. I think it's just pure disrespect to tell the woman that you're going to marry that you're not attracted to her. Yeah, and I think that's that's one thing that um, looking back, I think the the take home for me and what I've learned about myself since the wedding is that I do need to set boundaries. And that's what I've been working on is just really like who deserves my energy and like what safe space can I have for what type of people, right? And so sure. um, I, I did learn that about myself um, after the show. Cause you deserve the world, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke to Bartis and what's the status of your guys is I don't know if there's a friendship there an acquaintance yeah um I mean re-watching everything definitely reminds me about the love the genuine love that I had for this man and I really do believe that he loved me re-watching everything um it does remind me that like I I loved as hard as I did and, and I gave it my all and it just wasn't for him so um the last time I've spoken to him um, honestly, we're on talking terms. I, I don't think friendship is like a way to put it. I don't think we're friends. I think that that's, that takes, again, with my boundaries, like that word friend is very special to me right now. Um, reliving all this and, and just having to really, really make sure that I'm protecting my energy.
and yeah. making sure I value my friendships. Is the door closed? Like there's no reconciliation happening? Romantically? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That yeah. answers. It's a new <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Your family at the wedding was super upset. What was happening from your perspective in that moment? And why did it escalate like that? I mean, I could tell they just like, they were so angry at Bartiz. Yeah. I think, um, I think the reservations that they had, even from the beginning, being the only girl in the family, um, and being, as successful as I was before the show, you know, um, where I was in my life. And they're so proud of me that they really want the best for me. There were so many emotions that were happening that I think the fight that I couldn't fight in that moment, my mom and my brother were there to pick up the pieces, if that makes sense. Yeah. Are you single now? Are you dating? What are you looking for? Will you go on the apps? Yeah, so I'm totally single and honestly, um, I'm open to dating, but I, I really do think that this next time around, like it's, it's just, it's, I have a different perspective on dating now, you know, um, now I won't date another 20 something, like yeah. we're still away from that pot of, <laughs> of men. Um, so I think honestly, it's just, it's just a matter of, of finding someone who will be, I guess, um, someone who will share that level of love from with me yeah. as much as I do with them.